Go oh, fuck! <laughs> I didn't put a pina colada up there. Stop. Wait a minute. Yep. But you know what's crazy is Bruno Mars is addicted to cocaine, isn't he? I think that's he got an, like an issue with cocaine. He's so little. He's a little man. I feel like you could just give him like, I don't know, half of the, the dust of the bottom of a sour skittle and he'd be geeked. Geeked. He doesn't need it. Like when he does a key bump, he does like a Fisher Price key. Not even like a like an, adult an emoji key. key yeah. Yes. <laughs> People yeah. love doing cocaine with him. Me on the opposite. You see the nose. I'm kidding, guys. You know what else you see? What? This brand new studio. Hey, yo. God. God. Damn. My dick still ain't even in here. It's still moving. God damn. It's moving boxes up. Moving boxes. Realistically, how much weight could you hold from your dick? Go. It's, uh, 11 pounds. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. Hold on. Like like tie a rope on it and just let it What's hang? What's that movie where they throw the bricks off the ledge and they got around their dicks? Shanders List. Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, maybe it's Jackass. I think they did it in Jackass. I think you're right. I think and it is they Jackass. like the rope was they the I don't know, but they like faked the prank. Everybody's standing on like a roof. Okay. And they had their dicks tied up to a rope and Terrible. a brick, and they threw it. But the brick I think had a cut in it or something, and they told them it was too short. I don't know how you're gonna Google that rope dick brick jump. <clears throat> I'm so confused. He had a rope tied around his pee. He like had a bunch of people like like his homies from the, the Jackass squad on the balcony, and they're like, "Yo, we're throwing you know bricks off the balcony with your dicks attached," because that's the logical step in progression for Jackass. Yeah, like, and then you, you guys ate goldfish. All right, time to lose your dicks. Well, that's what happens when you do those type of shows. You gotta keep pushing it. I, and that's what's hard, and that's why it's hard to do longevity and pranks. Like the, all, all the prank YouTube channels. It's hard because you come out the gate swing it and you make the impact off that. It's like, how do you... Yeah, you've you, already done the, the highest level you can. Well, that's what you got to be forward thinking. You can't you can't start a YouTube channel lighting yourself on fire in Times Square. Like, you can't start there because then where do you go? Light where? yourself on fire in Chicago at the Bean? Yep. You ever and been it, to the Bean in Chicago? No, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. There's a giant uh, mirrored bean in Chicago. Like a bean, like a coffee bean? bean. Or like a Goya Bean. Bean. What are you saying? <laughs> bean. I, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's 300 different beans. But, uh, dude, it, it looks like a lima bean. It's like, okay. it's like, it's not, it's, it's really unsettling to the stomach. I wouldn't go there if I was hungover. And you kind of, like, I, I did. It's terrible. It's like kind of like this like giant silver. Can I show you? Of course. It's really unsettling. And I hate that the fact that I'm from Naperville, Illinois, represent, and that's our big Chicago, Chicago bean. You know what's funny? Is somebody's got piped being like, yo, meet at the bean? And then got their back blown out, meeting at a fucking bean. I'm a, dude, that's what you say. You flick the bean? Why? Yeah, look at this thing. I don't understand what this is. <laughs> it's a fucking bean. That's a bean. <laughs> it is a bean. It looks like it, it looks like what an alien would fly down in and be like, "Yo, take me to your leader." Yeah, but it's just. I mean, people fucking pull up to the bean. I'm confused. Is that an actual bean or the people like, oh, that looks like a bean. It, it so it's looks a bean. like a bean, but what, but it's called the bean. All right. Well, that's awful. Wait, hold on. But you walk up and the, the sign on it in front of it says the bean. <laughs> I, I think when is, art is so good, there's no sign. It's just up for interpretation. Right. But that's where I'm going. Because can you imagine spending your whole life trying to create modern art and you finally get something in fucking Chicago and you're so stoked and you're like, oh, this is it. This is a representation of life because it's just, it's just it's circles and circles and you can't do it. And everyone's like, that looks like a bean. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to somebody that's art, Kanye probably looked at that and was like, yo, that's my next shoe model right there. The fucking bean foot. You know what Hard. I hear about art? Let me say this real quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going I'm to say Hot this. Hot take. Hot take about like, fucking uh -oh. art. Do your job. Whoa. What do, do, you, you, do your job. What do you mean? Modern artists. I'm actually having a bit of, like, I have an idea about a bit. I haven't fucking wrote it yet, but, like, the idea is, like, fit, like, don't, the inter, like, when someone's like, oh, just, what's your interpretation? Fuck you. Why don't you do the art properly so I don't have to interpret See, the I'm shit? See, I'm on board with that. I'm such a half-assed lazy guy that I want to give you half of my work. And I'm just like, I'm not done yet. Like, that's like turning in a paper when it's not done yet. And you're like, yeah, the words don't really make sense because art doesn't make sense. And that's why there's four paragraphs missing and Every word is spelled differently. Right, right, right. But don't, but don't just like give me a bucket of fish and be like, "What does that mean for you?" Why don't you fucking do it? Don't, don't I, just like, don't you finish it? There, Why do you make? Don't, don't make me do your job. But that type of shit, I like looking at. It, I would never buy it. Some of the shit you see, it goes for like some dude. Some dude like came on something. All he like came on a canvas, yeah. or when they just splatter it. That shit, I don't get. But like, how much do you think Chicago dropped on the bean? How much they paying for that? I don't think Chicago like spent any. Well, how do you what, make no, that? What, what's your research? 
Gabriel? No, I, I don't have any research on this. I'll look this up. Oh, I, was, I, thought... I, had, a, I had a Bruno Mars update. Oh, oh. yeah, okay. How's he doing? Uh, so if he, he's he was, dead, I'm gonna be feel so no, he's, bad. He's he did cocaine great. off the bean. Uh, he he was arrested with 2.6 grams of cocaine, which I've heard is not very much cocaine. Was, so that tracks with him being sort of a you've little heard? a littler guy. Why are you trying to say it so narkishly? You've no, I mean heard? I'm just saying that I've heard. That's Buddy, not they've that all they've all seen the Patreon episode. <laughs> okay, it's not very much cocaine. So it tracks. He's a little guy. He didn't. Yeah, he did much. it all already. Or, I mean, the motherfucker dances uh, in incredibly. Like I. What if you just took a Bruno Mars like masterclass online? I'm gonna teach you how to dance. He just does a key bump, then does a little tornado down the street dancing. And <laughs> you're like, yeah. how, how did I get from step A to B? Yeah, can you imagine you bought the masterclass and he goes, step one, and it's that's step it. Step one, ninety dollars. Oh, step <laughs> two, run away from your family. Um, uh, have you seen his sisters though? Hot fuck. <laughs> hot. Oh god. Damn! Really? And they all look like Bruno but with long hair. Don't act like you don't think Bruno's hot. Bruno's hot as fuck. Just imagine Bruno Mars long hair with a vagina. Uh, uh, hot. <laughs> Super hot. This studio getting you riled up. Why yeah. are you holding that five hour energy like it's a goddamn nade bomb? What are you gonna do with just gripping a five hour energy? I don't sponsor know. Sponsor us already. Yeah, first of all, five hour energy. Get your fucking life together, okay? Please sponsor me. Guys, I'm fucking hyped. You up. know what's great? They uh. never had to change anything. They just they came out the gays five hour energy. Nobody's ever asked for an improvement for them. Nobody's like, let me get six, huh? Yeah, there's no six, there's no seven, there's like five hours, you're good, good. But it's funny, like most places, they have to add new flavors or up the value or like, <laughs> they've added even bigger. Have they really? They've added new flavors, yeah. Extra, no, but flavors is one thing, but oh, like okay. extra strength? How many hours is there that? There is extra strength. How many hours is that? Um, it's still five, but it's just an extra niacin, I think, and a little more of B12. But if you're a company, that's like Taco Bell. Every time they run out of ideas for their menu, they just add more layers to the nachos, right? Yes. They're at seven <laughs> layers, all right? It's like now that's what I call music. They're at like 59. I think Taco Bell in 20 years will, will have a 48-layer burrito. Dude, the same thing with razors. Hey, we don't need any more razors. It's like we're at like a oh, nine oh, blade. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. But you know what's Bitch, funny? we don't need any more blades. But now we're going in reverse again because now it's like the single blade razor. It's chic. It's nice. It's hipster yeah jam that, a fucking ice americana on your ass i'm down for that dude i wonder if you drink coffee in your ass is it do you get more hyped you can put anything in your ass yeah, i you understand can put your mind to it or your fist to it god damn hey guys do you watch porn not saying that you do nobody ever does that i've never watched porn in my life never. every day i'm uh, a virgin at 9 a.m anyways look guys 2020 government's locking down security is a legit thing and you want your privacy right you want your privacy that's why you put your little shit little stickers over your laptop camera that doesn't work you know what it does work a vpn who's vpn express vpn listen man government is out here they're surveillancing you birds aren't real you need this vpn to feel safe so they can't get into your shit it's an encrypted system try to explain to them what it does yeah so pretty much with an encrypted system it takes your data and also it like it's you're routing from somewhere else in the world so like if you're at a starbucks using a hot spot the dude next to you who's sweaty in a trench coat he can't get into you because you're dead is encrypted also it's nice if you want to uh watch something that you don't have in your country like netflix if you don't have netflix or for example comedy central doesn't stream in canada they have servers all around so they can stream from that all that cool stuff right there so get a vpn because it encrypts your data keeps you safe and uh, you can stream from different locations you can be like a little like feel like a little hacker but in reality you just chill. So protect your privacy today and get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Visit expressvpn.com slash socks. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash socks for three months free with a one-year package. Visit, again, expressvpn.com slash socks to learn more. Let's get back to the mother episode. God damn. Uh, the bean cost $23 million. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Dude, fuck imagine, everyone in this room. <laughs> imagine playing for the Chicago Bulls and your contract is less than the bean. The city's like, I mean, they spent you got 20, us a ring, but uh, the bean. They spent $23 How do you million dollars on a silver aluminum jelly bean. It's Chicago, you're fucking stupid. Hey, first of all, have yes. you seen the women in Chicago? Uh, yeah, they're really cold. <laughs> it's freezing there. Yeah, and you can go inside. The only thing you do in Chicago is fly a kite. What else do you do in Chicago? Snow angels? That's pretty hot. Cocaine? Dude, there's something... Hmm. Um, there's something really hot about a girl wearing, like, just, just super dressed up. Not dressed uh, when it's, like, cold. They have, like, a North Face and a fucking... <laughs> You know what I mean? When there's like when they have a lot of clothes on, 
There's something hot about it. Because you're like, what's underneath? Rush, you, just, you know, ever seen like a Russian doll? Yeah. That's what they are to me. A white um, elephant gift? You're like, what am I going to unwrap? Yeah, I'm just going to zip, 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 zip. Yeah, but then you get down and you got a lot of swamp in there. Yeah, you're like, why does it smell like used band-aids? Oh, every time I have the <laughs> nut sex with a <laughs> female. <laughs> and I know I had a day. If I'm a little sweaty, I'm very in my head. I'm like, you don't need to do that. Please don't go down there. Yeah. It's not going to taste good. It's going to taste like top ramen seasoning dry. You ever had top ramen seasoning dry? Yeah. This shit is, you could legit melt cinder block with that shit. Yeah, you can cure rust. You could go right to your F-150 and, and de-rust your bumper. Rust is like, oh, we're good. Oh, oh yeah, I'll blow me. I got to move out. <laughs> Let's just fucking move out. I got a plane to catch. Why in every movie when like somebody left, they always just had a suitcase, a little top hat and a mustache. I'm like, yeah, I got to go. I want to see that in real life. Let me ask you this. How come those fucking idiots back in the day, remember those idiots that would they leave town and they'd have a stick with a bandana full of their shit on the stick? <laughs> Yo, what are you putting in wait, there? Just, Two phone chargers? Just a juicy fruit piece of gum and a fucking USB cord? What, what's in there? That shit was so funny. And how did it not slide down? Because you're going to go through TSA. Like, <laughs> I don't... Is this carry-on? You... How can you afford this flight? Sherman? Always oh, a weird name. Yeah. Do you know a Sherman? Uh, I know somebody with the last name Sherman. Okay. That and he sense. always got called Shermanator. Gabe, I feel like you want to want to say something in the last 45 minutes. What do you mean? So not only can you drink coffee in, in from your ass. <laughs> Circling back. I thought it was going to be a Bruno Mars update, but I'll take <laughs> coffee in the ass. But Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow's company, Goop, sells a uh, a coffee enema kit. Well, who is the celebrity selling their own fucking... <clears throat> Her. This one was a fucking insane lady. What, yeah, do, what do I know her from? She sells a candle. Well, I mean, she's an actress and a bunch of stuff, but she sells a candle that smells like her vagina. Okay, so she's selling vag candles. I can't get a fucking call back on a Snapchat show. What is fucking happening in Hollywood? Dude, What? I, I got to smell her cooch. I got to <laughs> smell her cooch. I have to. Speaking, no. of, speaking of smelling cooches, remember that girl in Wisconsin that came over? She was like fresh from work. She came to my hotel at 4 p.m. Fresh from work. She's like, should I shower? I go, let me... I, like, I go, no, because we're in the moment. I'm going to tell you something. She should have showered. <laughs> what is a scent that comes closest to mine? When you... Okay, imagine <laughs> that. Did uh, you? Huh? Did you go down? Did you mm, scuba Steve that shit? Absolutely not. I don't know where you're going with that <laughs> sense. I, you could have cut off. You could have absolutely, or you could have been like, absolutely I, not. There's a way. Like, I either have to have been hooking up with you for a little bit. For me to go down, I I like going down. I don't mind it. I like it. You find the you find the Chicago bean down there. You give it a little bite, bite. Do you have a bite to clint? Is that a pleasurable? Ladies, right in. Dude, I think a girl made the Chicago bean, and to prove a point to her ex, it's like, now can you find the fucking bean, <laughs> Kevin? Can you find it now? First of all, we were talking about this off off mic. It's not hard to find the clit. It's really not. It's hey, just look. It's kind of in there. It's literally no different than finding a fucking uh, iPhone charger in a crowded drawer. You scrimmage around a little, but it's in there. It's, you feel it's, a little, oh, that's it. But it's not even like a full drawer. It's not even a full like drunk junk drawer of like pens and shit. It's like there's like one iPhone charger and, a, and like a couple highlighters yeah. to find the clit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like you just, just move the lips sometimes over and it's right there. It's a cat running around. Yeah, sometimes it's just weird. You ever find lint in there? I found I found lint. Like why you want a sock on this? Why is there, why is there lint in there? You doing laundry in that thing? God damn! Where do socks go? Tell me right now. <laughs> tell me no no. Everyone fucking tell me where do, where do socks go? The same conspiracy that birds aren't real. Birds are made of socks, and that's why you've never seen them together. Stiff socks. All right, we got it. <laughs> birds birds aren't real. I saw a sign in Hollywood yesterday. Billboard said birds aren't real. I think I was in the car with you. Yeah yeah. Who's paying for that? I don't know. I bet the billboards are probably discounted right now because I've been seeing A Quiet Place Part 2 billboards everywhere and that movie's not coming out anymore. Dude, once I found out you could just buy your own Gone. billboard, I was like, why don't I just do that? How much are they? I don't think Look, they're that expensive. Can we get a stiff socks one? It just says nut. Dude, very there, tiny there, letters. there was a marketing place that emailed us mm, 74 times to see if we wanted to do digital marketing in Times Square. Really? Yeah. And well, I, Who's I, in Times Square right now? Pigeons? They're the fucking government. What, who's going to see it? Biden? I don't know. Listen, if the pigeons will download our podcast on their phones, they can watch. <laughs> it's uh, between two and fifteen thousand dollars a month. 
depending probably on where okay. your billboard is. All right, well, I'm it's not going to do that. a little more expensive than I thought. 15 grand a month? Dude, how much money are they making for owning a stick yeah. with some flat space? That's what we... See, that is some juice shit. That's what we got to fucking... That's also, how you make money. Uh, we got to own... Huh? When do those work? When do those work? When has anybody been like, oh, all right. I think everyone. I, dude, I... Because really? you know, I've seen those ones that are like promoting YouTubers around town. No, like maybe I'd go to it to talk shit, but oh yeah, nothing that doesn't work. That doesn't work. But I'm talking about if they have a like an ad, like a like a me undies ad or some shit, and really? then you're like, you're driving, you're like, yeah, my dick doesn't need to breathe. But it, but it just creates awareness, right? Like, cause you don't, sure. I don't, I don't really know what whatever the yeah. fuck. Well, I guess in the ones that are like along highways, you pass it every day going towards yep. work. And What's that one in LA that's supposedly a conspiracy? Shinyan, Shinyan. Yeah. Oh, Shen, Shen. yeah, 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 yeah. That's like Scientology. Bro. They got racks. They have so many billboards. Oh that's, yeah, that's they're, fifteen they're grand a month. Who's making money in COVID right now? OnlyFans and podcasts. That's, yeah, it. that's it. Let's combine the two, ladies and gentlemen. My <laughs> penis. Oh, my zipper was actually down. Was it really? What a coincidence. Oh shit. God damn. Speaking of zippers down, you out here? Huh? <laughs> so I peeped over your phone before. Oh, this. why are you looking at my phone, bro? I was looking for a tip. Uh, you can see one. My uh, real quick before you ask me this question, I feel like I know where you're going. I was perusing my phone a little bit. Perusing? What are you on? Fucking patrol at a goddamn mall? I'm a Shakespearean Elizabethan theater major. What? Huh. Okay. Listen, I was perusing Thespian my... ass bitch. Oh, shit. Thespian. Thespian is so close to lesbians. I love lesbians. I've already expressed it to you guys. Lesbians, the best. Everyone else, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I was looking through my phone. My phone's a little bananas, dude. Like, I was like, I hope my niece and nephew never take my phone. It's like, it, I, that's how lonely you can tell. That's how lonely you can tell I am by the amount of like how dirty my phone Anxiety, is. Anxiety, yeah. <clears throat> Some kids like, you got games on your phone? You're like, not the kind of games you need to be seeing. Yeah, I mean, I'll throw my phone off a building if my niece and nephew like ever ask me. Oh, uh, Uncle Michael, can I? Dip it in the <laughs> Nah, it's, it's broken. <laughs> broken, it's done. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, but yeah, it's, it's like, it, that's, how, that's how lonely you can like tell that I am. By how gross my phone is in the recents. Mm. If it's just a bunch of fucking nudes and it just like it's 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 sad. It's sad. sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. I think you know how most dudes are like, who got fucking in nudes in me? It's sad. Right? Or, um <clears throat> is it sad to have nudes, is that what you're saying? Is it sad that I ha to have nudes in general? No. But I think the like I, this sounds kind of bragging. I don't really mean... I actually mean it to come off like, oh, it's like pretty sad. The amount in my phone is like sad. It's sad. It's not like... I guess if you were like 18, you're like, fucking check it out. Oh, bragging rights? Yeah, yeah. But anyways, so yeah, it's... Uh, what were you going to ask me? Sorry. I got off topic for no reason. No, I wouldn't say it's sad. I mean, it might make you reflect a little bit, but like... Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I well, do. I just I, yeah. I think uh, I think I'm at a I think I'm at a point where we already had this discussion off podcast off podcast. But like I'm at a point where like I would like a girl like I would like something like some steady, some steady to it, like share successes with and that type of stuff. And well, maybe that's it, right? So it's like I'm yearning for that, and then I look through my phone, and it's a bunch of women that I would never want to be with. So it is. It's sad to me, maybe, and not even maybe. It is sad to me when I'm like, it's like a it's like a graveyard. I'm just like, what is. Gotcha. It's like a direct reflection of how much I don't have love. If that makes okay. sense. Yeah. I feel that. I well, mean, this we, is also just in between like random screenshots. Like, my Postmates <laughs> order. Titties. Right, and you're like, right, it's right, more right, a reflection. Right. It's like a timeline, really. Right. This is more like where you're like, had it been like, here's me fucking headlining Madison Square Garden. And a tit, you're like, hell yeah. You know, but it's like, it's the, you can't have two negatives, you know? If you're like, here's a picture of nut on the floor and Greta eating a condom. Right. And then it's a random nude. It's just like, it's like, it's, it's a uh, it's, snowball effect. Yeah, it's sad. It's like, I took, it's like a picture so, of like a Rite Aid receipt. And then right. like, yeah. Well, I'll ask you this. And I think I might already know where this is going from just based on that. Yeah. <clears throat> 59, 59. Think of 49. Now mm -hmm. I had 10. Mm -hmm. 59 messages on Tinder, unread. And what red. are you waiting for? Fucking snow day? I yes, <laughs> yes I am. Yeah. What do you? Do? I mean, what are you? You just gonna fucking group chat? Hello, dude. Because it, howdy. Because it comes. Oh. There, there comes a point in a young man's life <laughs> when he finds his dick. No, <laughs> he. It's just first. It, 
I think I'm at a place where when I respond to these messages, I'm in like a just negative space, right? Where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna respond to this message. We're gonna message back and forth, and she's either gonna, she's either gonna be horrible. You feel it out, yeah. She's gonna be horrible. Predict or we're gonna, the future. Yes, or we're gonna get to a point where we're like exchanging nudes. And we'll like meet up and we'll fuck. And then like one of us won't like each other. And then we'll just like stop talking. And then you ask how many geckos she has. <clears throat> I still think about that. I think about it every day. The girl just messaged him. If you don't remember this a couple episodes, girl, uh, girl messaged him said, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hilarious thing. Ever. Cause in all cities like Los Angeles, I wouldn't expect it. New Mexico, I would expect it. Maybe, yeah. maybe Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, maybe. The Amazon, but, maybe. Yeah. This girl goes, he goes, what, what are you up to? She goes, not much, just feeding my geckos. And then she goes, you got any gecks? God. No. No one has gecks. She shortened it. It made me so gex. mad. How did she spell it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to spell. It's pretty neat. I think I'll tell you what, though. If you ever get a gecko, you got a fallback plan. That's true. You message her 10 years later, I got a geck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some neck for that gag. <laughs> oh God! You know what's funny is she. The, the, I need. I need to be. St- this is probably why I'm single. I'm so judgmental, right? Like she. Yeah, she, but you come from that background of like when stand up is stand up is all observations, <clears throat> and you're forced to dig into why things are certain ways and like behavior of people and what makes people that way. So like right. you break it down way quicker than the normal people. Stand up is just psychology, right? But. Th- but that type of thinking is not always right. It's a very, no, it's, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a very like, you're, you're dead wrong. Right. So w- what I'm saying is like, I think it's a good tool to have, obviously, because it, it, uh, it sifts through a lot of like stuff that's not going to work for me. But at the same time, yeah. so the, the bitch had a gecko. That's okay. Geckos be it, cool. It's okay. It's not like, it's not like she had like some weird, it's not like she has, you, you know. You never got to worry about a gecko eating a goddamn condom off the floor. <laughs> well, I don't know if she keeps it in the cage. Oh shit. Because roll around selling fucking car insurance. Who knows? <laughs> Dude, if her gecko had an accent, I'd marry her tomorrow. Oh god. Geckos became so much cooler when Geico dropped the mascot. When they're that- like, yo, we out here with the mascot? <laughs> Fuck. How did they come up? Is I mean, not how well, did that's they That's their ultimate. We got a caveman and a gecko. But is is a gecko just Geico? And they were just like, what's the closest I don't know. to I think Geico? They just took a fucking peyote in the goddamn Palm Springs desert. And then they just came back Monday morning. They're like, guys, hear us out. Caveman, British speaking geckos. And they're like, well, put the gun down. But sure, that works for us. I'm, I'm all on board. Yeah. We talked about this last episode. I don't know. Geico's not even cheap. It's no, not even cheap. No. Unless they're sponsoring his podcast. Well, they, the how do you, they got to fucking afford a goddamn gecko with a British accent. You think he's got a day rate of 500? No, dude. No. He's probably like 10K a day. That motherfucker. Who's ever voice overing that goddamn geck? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the voiceover shit is crazy because you make fucking so much money and you can just walk into a Starbucks unharmed. Dude, that's what I actually was thinking about, man. I kept seeing all these uh, billboards for new cartoons. Cartoons and I'm like, are really big right now. Right, but I'm like, oh, that's where everything's going. Like, Why? Because of COVID. You don't, no one has to be in the same room. You can draw, you can do VO yeah. at your house. Nobody has to be in the same room. That is true. And so also no after shooting. the success of like Big Mouth and you know, F is for Family and a lot of these yeah. really big shows... They're kind of just like, that's the future. And I, I've seen a lot of these, like uh, a lot of these networks have like been coming out with stuff like that. And the comments are, it's hard because now if you do anything that's after it was popular, everybody's like, oh, next big mouth wannabe, blah, 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 blah. So it's like, it's hard because it already popped a little bit. So now yeah. everything seems like it's a trend, but maybe that's just in right now. But I mean, it's fucking COVID. Like if I can, dude, I have a, a voiceover audition tonight that I got to record just okay. like on my fucking motherfucking goddamn shit, shit you know? And it's for some animation. And I, I don't know shit about animation, but I looked at the what other work they've done and I was like, that looks great. Dude, being being a voice on animation has got to be so fun, bro. Well, Have you ever great. done any of that? Any like VO stuff? Uh, I've done a little bit. It's so fun. And it's it's fun. You do it from the comfort of your own home. God damn. There's not some director just staring at you and be like, do it, but do it better. You know, it's like a little... Like, it is that though. When you get in the booth, the director's right there. Right, but like ultimately I think a lot of people are scared to fuck up because they got the camera guy like sound like oh, if, I see you, you yeah. can run a line back like if I'm just in my mic right now and then I do 10 different variations 10 different variations on audio versus 10 different variations on video Word. is night and day difference and I feel like if I fuck up and the DP got the the perfect focus and like the sound is great but it's me then I feel like I fucked up but if I just fuck up and then it's just me and the director going back and forth I don't give a shit oh, dude it is it is the worst when you're on a bigger set 
and then you start so fu- and then you start fucking up and you have 40 people being like bitch do it right do the thing oh i know man i mean i, I worked on something recently and it's like the guy who was directing it like directed jumanji or some shit or he's somehow looped in that he's pretty respected he directed jumanji the one with kevin hart and the rock yeah sir darius sir darius i think sir darius bro this guy could bench play like two hummers this guy was yeah regardless he had something to do with that he was either in it wrote it producer some something on that but like yeah. So he rolled deep and he had his people. Then he had like all these people around. And I had like had like five lines. Yeah. And the whole time I was like in my head, I was like, here yeah. we go. And then yeah. I said my line. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> but then in my head, I'm not acting because I'm not listening to the other guy react. Like I'm not reacting right. to him. I'm in my head like oh, I did the thing. Right. But then after a couple of takes, I'm like, yeah, for sure. Got it. Boom, boom, boom. And then he looked at me. He goes, this kid's a natural. And I was like, suck my fucking Jumanji dick. Yeah, I was going to say theater major, but sure. It was a theater minor, but we'll get, we'll get back to this Jumanji of a cock. Um, you know what's crazy? Yeah. So, sorry, back to the Geico gecko. The reason that they that they even came up with the gecko was because of the 1999 Screen Actors Guild strike. Huh? What? So all the actors went on strike in 1999, oh. and a Geico was trying to... They had like a TV advertising campaign they were about to shoot, and it all got canceled. So they were like, I guess a gecko? There's just like an intern who was a British accent. They're like, uh, come here real quick. Yeah. Read these lines into this microphone. I guess I guess people like uh, always mispronounce their name as Gecko anyway. So they're like, I guess we'll just roll oh, with that. How drunk you have to be to read Geico's Gecko? Yeah, super drunk. I'd do it actually sober. Um, what was I going to ask you? Oh, so you're talking about Sidarius is that jacked. <clears throat> Would you want to be that jacked? Yeah. You can pick a body. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You would want to be like yeah. swole up like that? Yes. No. Yes. That's got to be annoying. Because here's Have the thing. Have you ever seen a, a dude that fucking big try to get on a goddamn airplane? There's so many things that you don't think about being that big. Try to get into a car. Can't fit. Yeah, but you know how many times I've been getting into a car as a carpool and they go, Trevor's middle seat. You've been labeled as a middle seat? Yeah, my entire life. No, having a middle seat body is not good. Sometimes people are just so buffed. It's like no question. Like they don't even have to address it. They're like, yeah. Trev, you got, you got front seat? For sure. Like. For that front, I want that front seat bod, or at least back right, you know? Middle seat body? That's that Bruno Mars shit. Son, I've been middle seat body my whole damn life. They don't even ask it's terrible. Me. They don't even ask. It's not even like, oh, but, Mike, you got the middle seat. It's like they just open the door know, and wait. That's when you that's know you ain't shit. shit yeah. When they just open, open the, the door, door and wait. When they or, or when you're walking up to the car and they kind of like take a step back. Yep. And, you, and you're just like, all right. You also feel like a little bitch, like you're dating that dude, and it's like, oh, my lady. And you're like, God damn it. Fuck. At least grab my tits. Yeah. And you ever least... play the game Jello grown up? This seems really sexual. Go ahead. Really? No. Yeah. Gay? What? Thank Thank God. Maybe awesome. This is the first time in the history of this podcast where I go, what the fuck are you talking about? You look at Gabe and Gabe maybe, and maybe this was some sus shit. This is some Neighborville shit. This sounds really horrendous. Go ahead. So we put, we take our pants off, right? And we're the backseat of my dad's Astro van. <laughs> the lights are off. We go into some weird redwood oak tree, right? Okay. I'm, <laughs> Jello. I'm hard. <laughs> No, Jello was just when anybody would take a turn, right? In the back seat, you would just go with it. Oh, so yeah. If you were turning right, did you call some other stupid Maryland shit? Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking about? Fucking tartar sauce in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Where you just like, you like. So being in the middle, I, for, I forget who got fucked over the most. Middle or. Oh, no, I guess the, maybe the window. The windows got fucked. But if you're on the opposite, if you're on the pushing end, you're fine. It's the receiving end. Well, the middle sucks Middle's because never you, great. Well, the middle you, window, always, you always get fucked. Exactly. Yeah. You you want to be like a gangbang. In the middle, you're always getting fucked. Write it in my senior yearbook quote. What we was already did. Quote? What was my senior yearbook quote? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say so many horrendous shit. I don't. I honestly don't remember. I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't remember. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Write in what you think it was. <laughs> Uh, Do you remember yours? Four score and seven years ago. Probably. All right. What um, was yours? Mine was some stupid shit. It was about Bear Grylls. Because I thought what? It was like, I thought it was tight at the time. I don't even know if he said it. To be honest, I just went on like manly bro quotes Google, and then it was like Bear Grylls, and I was like uh, nut. <laughs> Wait, so you don't remember what it, like what uh, it was? N- no. I'm did sure you, if you type in Trevor Wallace yearbook quote. Did you win? Up. Did you win something like Miss Congeniality or something? 
Like when you know in the high Miss I don't know. It's the first thing I think of, dude. Do, when you, do you remember like oh, Trey, how frail do you think I am? I don't know. You look, you fucking definitely middle seat guy. Gotta have racks though. First of all, someone wrote in. Someone wrote in on the Patreon or something else, and they were like, "Oh, Michael, you cross your legs like a girl. Where'd your dick go?" I never tell him my dick. My dick goes right in the middle when I cross my goddamn legs. My shit goes in my pocket. In your pocket, you can yeah, take it out pussy. like that. <laughs> I've never tried a pocket pussy. I gotta try that. How come dicks aren't like snails where they just get scared they suck in? They do if it's cold enough. God All damn. the way in? Yo, yeah, you can fuck yourself. <laughs> you, go, you go, oh shit, I ain't a virgin no more. What? Okay. Okay. I think we got something. Yo. <laughs> I think we got Yo. Maybe a wet dream you fuck yourself, but you don't know where your dick goes because you're asleep. Okay. That's a theory. We'll put it on the board. We'll, we'll, we'll mark we'll it up later. Get past we'll the room. For sure. But it's a theory. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah. It'll be right under birds aren't real, but... Uh, yeah, brainstorming. That's what... Do you th- imagine you walk in and your son's just like 4 a.m. He's all like tweaked out on Adderall. He says, <laughs> whiteboard says, do you fuck yourself during a wet dream? He's the dad. You're like, I'm going to just lock the shotgun up for the next couple of years. And then you, and you follow the string on the board and it says birds aren't real. You're like, God damn it. This guy's a school shooter. We you got, got a go. point. We got you got a point. Um... Yeah, I, uh, what the fuck was I going to say? Big, you're talking about middle C. You said where your dick goes when you cross your legs. Pocket. Oh, yeah. I, I, you Okay, you're crossing your legs right now, right? Yeah. Where's your dick at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's in the lobby. <laughs> I legit wish you could drop your dick off like it was a dry cleaner. Just go get it back. That's what you need to do. I think if you're ever feeling horny or like if your boyfriend or girlfriend is out of town and you're like, honey, yeah, I'm going to the Swiss Alps with my family. Yep, drop your dick off. That's true. Like honestly, what's that show? Cheaters. Yeah, they gotta just have that show, and and like that's a whole that show would just not even you just drop your dick off. Can you imagine trying to explain to your girl why you need your dick? That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like mean, literally, she's like, "Well, I'm going out of town, so you're you're going to, or if like you're going, you're like, oh, okay, boys well, trip, fucking Vegas, boys trip, go to Dodger Stadium. Like, she's like, give I gotta me, pee in the trough. She's like, give me your dick then. You're like, no, I, I right? need I need it because we're going to go swimming. And yeah. like, you know how it is when I swim, like I need my dick because yeah, like, of piranhas. And she's like, what? And you're like, shut up, bitch. I need my dick. Yeah, boys trip to Vegas. Either you wear your wedding ring or you give me your dick. No wedding ring. Fuck. Well, you don't need the... Dude, here's the shitty thing about wedding ring. Wedding it ring make a bitch more, more wet. What? It, okay, women, what is that about? You think men are such trash? They are. We are. I take it. We're disgusting. We're biodegradable though. Are we? I, yeah, well, if you, if you lie down right in that water, <laughs> right in the water on the ground, yeah, you fucking boop, biodegrade right in the goddamn soil. So I could turn myself in for five cents like a Coca-Cola can? Yeah, you put yourself right in the corn star. Corn star? Corn star. How is there not an app called uh, Porn Star? There probably is. God damn. Hope you guys are nice and cozy listening to this podcast as always. You know what else is nice and cozy? Huh. Mac. Weldon, Weldon, ladies and gentlemen, Mac Weldon is some of the finest of clothing you'll ever put on your goddamn body. Uh. Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Guys, if you want men's basics, like the hot, hot men's basics, you got to do Mac Weldon. I received, we both received uh, clothes from these people. Yo, I got these sweat shorts. Let me tell you something. First of all, premium, bro. They feel amazing. Huh? I slept in them yesterday, woke up, and then did yoga in them. Okay? Shirtless. And it's, it's hot. It's I might hot. do some yogurt in them. <laughs> Gosh, damn. You know what I did. Um, but no, for real, guys. It was They They are, honestly, um, I endorse the fuck out of them. They are, they are amazing uh, basics and quality's great uh and the comfort was was amazing i've been wearing them the last two days so yeah mac weldon is the most comfortable underwear socks shirts undershirt hoodies sweatpants whatever you want joggers they got them is the best stuff you'll use but they also and they also have some great technology and they got silver underlining which helps with the odors so if you a smelly bad boy like me and michael I snick. tap in now look, what's cool about Mac Weldon is they got levels to this, huh? There's huh. levels to this shit, like Drake once said. Did he say that? The folks at Mac Weldon have even created their own totally free loyalty program called Weldon Blue. Weldon Blue. Level one gets you free shipping for life. For life. And once you reach level two by spending $200, Mac Weldon will start giving you 20% off every order for a year. 20%? Damn. Yeah, so what you got to do to get tapped into the Mac Weldon family, uh, we're going to get you 20% off your first order. Huh? Exclusive for our listeners. Go to MacWeldon.com slash stiff for 20% off your first order. God damn. 
Oh, <laughs> what? This is I have an update on the lady who is listening, of course, right now. Hey, uh, list- she needs to stop listening. <laughs> update on the uh, the masturbation. Remember when I told you that? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> we can. You can't just say up to update on the masturbation. Yeah. On the what? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? How she doesn't masturbate? Yeah, we talking about this, right? Masturbate. <laughs> We talked about how she she doesn't do it, right? Right. And she says it gives her bad luck. Bad luck. The next day. She's come to a conclusion, right? She goes, I, I think it gives me bad luck if I watch porn. If I just get off just with a little fucking, you know, DJ dish soap right here, get a little fucking shit off the plate right there. A <laughs> little bit of that fucking, oh, somebody made a quesadilla this morning and forgot to wash it in the sink. <laughs> You know, there's a little bit of cheese on the plate. I know, exactly. Fucking, yeah, but you look, oh, hold on. Is there grape jelly? I understand. Grape jelly. <laughs> grape jelly always sticks. You know what else sticks? Fucking pasta sauce. Get your life together. Get out of here. Everything. Move out. <laughs> Move out. Fuck. But cheese gets on there because it, 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 it melts and then it hardens. Oh, like my dick. I haven't you know, had the, I haven't had those goddamn nacho, you know those nacho chips, the homemade ones? We just have the tortilla chips oh, and you put the little, yeah. and then a little bit of salsa. I haven't had those in so fucking those are long. great. You know what I just realized? Your girl says she masturbates, she has bad luck. Maybe she got a black cat pussy. God damn. Oh shit. Yeah. Bad luck, but you got it. Come I on. Gotta fuck her under a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, your pussy always got to the mirror and fucking cracked. <laughs> Step Seven up, years. stuck under a ladder. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> Out of the blue one day, she texts me like, I wish you were here right now. I would love to there you go. clap <laughs> cheeks. Yeah, in a sense, I would love for you to give me all that fucking work. That three inches, baby. Give me that middle seat. Day. <laughs> yeah. How is that? How does the middle seat guy lay pipe? Does he doesn't. It? No, that's the thing. You, you just let the guy who's sitting on the right of you lay pipe. Yeah, can I? Just, I'm gonna go fuck your girl. All right. Yeah, just some cuck shit. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> the worst part of middle seat circling back here uh, is when you go to get out mm-hmm. and they just assume you got out on the the other side. Yo, and they slam it in your face. <laughs> Most, what am I, an orphan? It's the most dis- Nothing is more disrespectful than trying to, and then you get the, oh, I'm gonna just, and then you do the quick little, I'm gonna. And then they always go, my bad, they don't care. <laughs> and then you don't also do the shitty thing about middle seat, that little hump, that hump on your on your feet. Oh, yeah. what is that even for? Get the, what, do what we need that? What do we for? need it for an axle or something? <laughs> is there a dead body under there? You gonna there? have a fucking dinner there? You put some meatloaf in the, right there? It's meatloaf, so good. Uh, so underrated. <laughs> I'll tell you what, meatloaf is it's so depressing, but it's a loaf of meat. <laughs> I mean, that's, the name that's, is trash. Got, There's a famous singer named Meatloaf, too. There is. Isn't it a band? They got to rebrand is my whole point. They got to rebrand meatloaf. Maybe like a meat cake. Meat cake sounds good. <laughs> no, oh, it doesn't. Yeah. I'd fuck a meat cake, though. I'll tell you what, a meat cake, bro. Okay, but a loaf? You know, we're talking about American pie. You could... A meatloaf? <laughs> bro. But the, here's the problem. You got to make sure that temperature right. Because you're going to burn your whole... Yeah. Your shit going to... You got to go room temp. Can you imagine maybe, going to the... Maybe how? like... Three or four degrees higher than room temp. Yeah, so room temp 72, go to like 81, make it nice and... What spa temperature? I mean, not That's spa. too hot. <laughs> well, no, what, Are what's you the, kidding the, me? The, what, what's the bubbly thing that you sit in? What's it called? A jacuzzi. Thank you. What's the jacuzzi temperature? Did you see the study on this? Jacuzzis aren't actually named jacuzzis because that's what they're called. That's somebody's last name. Really? I, huh? saw, oh. I saw this recently. Oh, like Xerox shit? It was like, oh, just make Xerox. Xerox? Bad. Yeah. That was last name? Jacuzzi was somebody's name. It's not even because of the shape. It's, it's like, like, yo, you know what? It's like, it's that, that Kleenex shit. It's like, yo, pass me a Kleenex. That actually is not, yeah, it's not called Kleenex. It's a tissue. It's a tissue. When Next, you're you going to tell me Ford's not actually a Ford. It's not. <laughs> So his name's actually really cool. Candido Enzo Jacuzzi. That's Holy what you should do. That's what we big should dick energy. Yeah. He don't sit in the middle seat for Dude, he shit. looked at a big pool and was like, smaller. <laughs> and he goes, and people go, can we do that? He goes, hotter. Uh, Enzo, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Are we cooking in this? Nah. His name's Enzo. I'd fuck him. 100%. Enzo Jacuzzi Smoothie. Like, that's, uh, a, that's the thing where you fuck. If you fuck Enzo, you'll just look up and there's an artist sketching you. You're like, where did he come from? I don't know, but this is hot as fuck. You're fucking Enzo. We have to, we have to make this into a painting. That's what it is. That's how fucking hot he is. Anyways, Meatloaf needs to be called Enzo. What are we talking about? Your girl can't beat off because she's scared of Ouija boards? <laughs> <laughs> no, because she... <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Um, but, so she was saying... She, was, she like never really does it. She was like, maybe on like one hand this whole year I could count the times of beat. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this week. 
One hand. Yeah, I'm gonna need a whole fucking college football team to count on me hands. I can count on. <laughs> Blue, 42, not. Uh, but she really doesn't get after it much. But like, she was having some like some troubles, and she was like, I don't, I'm not getting really that wet down there. And then her doctor was like, Oh, it's estrogen. And then like she needs more estrogen or whatever. So she like tried to see like if she would just get wet without estrogen. And she's like, Oh, it was great. I masturbated six times today. It gets worse. <laughs> she doesn't get worse. That's that's good. No, 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 no. I, I'm all on board. But for somebody that's zero to sixty is like yeah, 100. Zero, zero to six is insane. Six times. Six times. But she told me the first one was at 8 a.m. You can't. Got what a rookie. What a fucking rookie. But dude, she jerked off like Quagmire in that Family Guy episode when he was. <laughs> When he walked outside with his left hand, it was fucking massive. It was a Popeye the Sailor. She jerked off like she just found out she could masturbate, right? But to her point, she wakes up at like 5 a.m. to for her job in like trading and stocks and sales. Yeah, no one knows Important what she people does. shit. Numbers. She trades money. Whatever. Smart people shit. She said, she's like, yeah, but I woke up at 5 a.m. So I was like, okay, I did the math. So 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. Three hours. Thank you. Good job, Trevor. That's good. Three hours, right? Yeah. I wake up at 9 every morning. That's like me at 12 o'clock, right, being like... Time to beat. I'm still too early. It's so early, but I'm gonna be honest. I was actually proud of myself today. It happened today. Uh, Excuse me. When uh, <laughs> my bed, it was 12:30 today, and I'm like, all right, I finished that edit, got a little bit of that writing done, and my computer was in the office. <laughs> and the computer, the computer was open, and the computer was calling me. It was like, hey, yo, two five blocks time. It was not calling me. You. you got 45 minutes. Come, 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 on, come on, come on, jerking off to a mockumentary. Come on in here, somehow. <laughs> He's like, come on in here. Look at that baby lotion's already right there. Come on, you, you know you want to. And I was so proud of me because I looked at that computer and I took two steps towards the office. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I need to regroup real quick. I took two steps. I go, Michael, control yourself. You're a full grown man. And you know what I did instead? Meditated. That is some adult shit. Okay. Meditating? Yeah, how do you go, how do you go from wanting to release the fucking poison out your dick to hold it in to holding it in and then wow. and then getting I'll, spiritual? I'll tell you what that nut tonight though. The, tonight I'm gonna go in the <laughs> office bathroom. I got I got about 15 more minutes. The meditation gods are holding my dick meditation down. Meditation station. Uh, yeah, it's I, just it, the eight o'clock is hilarious to me because like, what time did school start when we were kids? Eight, eight o'clock. I mean, for me, I, eight. imagine eight o'clock. You never jerked off. The nine o'clock news isn't even on yet. No, never. <sighs> I, I, I don't think I ever did. Eight o'clock is so early, so early. Dude, McDonald's the, is still selling breakfast, and you're like, Ugh! yeah. If there's yeah, if there's McGriddles out, you can't be jerking off. But six times, I think the most I ever did was three times in a day. And at that point, after the third one, my dick looked at me and was like, "Are you done yet? You having fun? You good? You you enjoying yourself over there?" I can't I'm believe, crying out of the top of my head. I can't believe you are. You only jerked off three times. Yeah. That's some like. Sorry, I had friends. Oh, I mean, I had a ton of friends. I just came on all of them. <laughs> Michael, you want to play frisbee golf? Oh no, that's not a frisbee. You know, play skip it. God damn it! <laughs> well, I thought birds were fake. What is this shit on my forehead doing? Um, is it good luck to get cummed on? You know, because it's good luck to get fucking bird shit on you. First of all, what? Whoever spun that is a genius. You gotta get a shit on him. He's like, it's good luck. <laughs> Just quickly, it's good luck. And everyone goes, oh, fuck, Ronald. Maybe it is. Uh, uh, dude, I can't yeah, believe I she did three, six three. times. Did she use like a vibrator or just her hand? Well, she claims. Like a spatula? She don't even know how to do she it? She claims, asterisk, 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 that the female orgasm, like you can come like multiple times back to back to back. Yeah. And whereas guys is like one and then you're floored for like 10 minutes. Floored? Come on. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Floored, Michael Floored <laughs> last time. There it is. Uh, <laughs> so she came like multiple times in one time uh, well, or she counted dude, I, that I, I, six in my head I it might have been like she's like you can like get like a couple minutes after I don't know but she was the vibrator and she was like finished nut right then like I, but still Hold on. That, how did she why did she have a she don't she doesn't masturbate so how did she have a vibrator on deck was it a roommate's I think she bought it to like kind of like I think she bought it because like she wanted to bring it into the room you know, Joe and my ass <laughs> <laughs> dude yo no 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 i think your body just like sex up the, the sex up the spice life you idiot trevor <laughs> spice up the sex life but she'd just get a little more playful she bought a cock ring for me to try i put on a cock ring i'll tell you what it did a hot nothing 
Dude, that shit kind of falls off sometimes. What, what, Yo, that's, what do you mean? They're elastic. It fits to your dick. Not mine. <laughs> it's like a hula hoop for your cock. Yo, I, I tell you what. It wasn't, I don't know. I think it was a magnum. I, that shit fell off. Mm. I was like, God damn. I just put it on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you remember, do you ever have those things in like middle school? It was like a prank where you put the, the circle thing, but it, it, it buzzed. It shocked them when you shook their hand. Yeah. I know what you mean, but yeah. I never had those. Those were so trash. They never worked. You know what's funny? What if you were trying to prank your girl and you put it on your dick? <laughs> Ow! Shut up! <laughs> Point being, yep. she got off six times. She went from six times a year to six times in a day. I think she really just like was in her head that it was superstitious and gave her bad luck. Found out it was just an estrogen thing and then just went to fucking town. Wouldn't you do that? What, Bro, about, I'll do that tomorrow. I mean, I just, work yourself through this. What if you literally didn't masturbate as much as you wanted to because you thought it was bad luck? Then you found out it wasn't bad luck. How much would you jerk off? Six is six is in the I mean, morning. I mean, so many, dude. It, but it's just funny. The the, the it's so six, funny. But I also talked to her on the phone when she said this at like six p.m. Right. So we're at eight o'clock to six p.m. She span. was so tired. Yeah, we're talking 10 hours if my math is correct it is it is wow let's do some six goes into 10 not dude that's like every hour 45 you're like let's get after it did you never had those like summer days when you were a kid and your family was on dude. vacation and you were like you know what i'm gonna do today nut <laughs> that's it i'm not sure. watching full house nothing sure, i guess i'm gonna come a bunch it's the 8 a.m one that does it for me I can get behind all the other ones. It's the idiot I'm with this. It's it's just funny, dude. It is hilarious. I'm just you're outside here and birds be like, call, call, and you're like, come, come. <laughs> yeah. you know, six a.m. is just not a horny hour. No, it's eight a.m. Eight, six I mean, eight, eight n- none of it. Kind of morning sex, I guess. But it's just we talked about this. It's I hilarious talking. to be like you hear the roommate making coffee. Birds are chirping. There's yeah. people uh, you hear a CrossFit class down the street, and you're like. It's time to jam this, 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 this somewhere it don't belong. Yeah, she's like, it's breakfast. It's time to put a breakfast burrito in there. Fuck! <laughs> time to vibrate the day. I don't know. But Carpe like, you're not going to talk about this on the podcast. And I was like, yes. First thing we're going to talk about. Okay. The clip First of us thing. watching porn on TikTok has 1.3 million views. We're uh-huh. not going to talk about this? Yeah. So it's just funny <laughs> to know that like, Girls think of guys who's a fucking ugh, hunchback in Notre Dame jerking off creep gargoyles, which we are, but like six times a day is hilarious. Like it, she had to limp to get an ice pack and she like, put some frozen peas on. It's like, oh God, fuck. I was like, how horny were you? Yeah, she put some frozen yogurt and, down there. Hold on. Okay. I saw her that night. <laughs> and then and what? then we beat. Wow. We got another nut off. We? How? Or are you? Oh. <laughs> No, I, 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 not even asked. I was like, should I go down? Do you want me to do it? And she's like, nah. Oh. But I, but I tell you what, dude, if she gets like comfortable with this vibrator, she she might she's going to be able to come easier. Oh, fucking valet park that shit in there. Oh, God. You keep the keys. Oh, Bluetooth. I'll just be like, Siri, activate vibrator. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, you know that exists? She's on a business call. She's like, hi, welcome to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't put a pina colada up there. You know, you know that exists, right? Uh, Bluetooth. Blue, like yeah so you it's I, I, like yeah you put so you, the I mean, girl puts make, it in they make and then Bluetooth she anything and then she gives you uh the control oh and then so it's like a this. control thing so then you're at you're at like chipotle and you're like oh i'd like a <laughs> and the guy's like we don't have that and the guy's like extra meat for sure <laughs> he's like sour cream not a problem it's, <laughs> he throws it on her face all right, all right um yeah that's it, it's just really funny to me um but yeah, so that's wild. She did all that. Mm-hmm. The vag is already fatigued. Has After to be. three, the vagina's like, breather, give me a Marlboro. Four, five, and six at that point, you're just like extra credit. But to top it all off, some mediocre dick, you know? Yeah. And, and and I went in all did? four minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I just It's just funny that like, because in my head, I was like, are you even going to still be able to get aroused? No. If, I, if I jerked off after six times... Nothing would turn me on there that day. Nothing. If I jerked off six times, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even like girls anymore. Not even a girl dipped in Chick Fil A sauce, which I oh, love. Oh, hold on. Uh, can you imagine your girl dipped in Chick Fil A sauce? That's what I think you should have Chick Fil A sauce on deck in like your little side table right by your bed. 
You ever want to go oh. down on a girl, you put Chick-fil-A sauce on there. I don't like that. I don't like that. What? I don't like that. Did it's I ever tell two us? amazing things. It's like, I love chocolate ice cream, but I also love sour Skittles. I'm not going to put those two together. You ever try it? No. It, it might be fire, fire tronic. You don't know. I, yeah, I might also end up in a straight jacket. Yes. <laughs> Did I, ever yeah. tell, did I ever tell a story about when I put a peanut I, I did, right? When I put a peanut butter jelly in a girl's vagina? You did. Okay. All right. Just check it. <laughs> it was in somewhere in the, the catalog. Just check it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give the, the spark notes. You put peanut butter and jelly in a girl's, and then you ate it like it was a Smucker's. I did. Uh, and I put her like lips was together. It crunchy? Like it was bread. Uh, it was, no, it was skippy. It was nice and smooth. No, not the peanut butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was gross. There was some sour Skittles on there. God damn. Ew. God damn. Stop. Wait a minute. If you're going to put some liquor in it, uh, I have news Think for about you. it. Yeah, think about it. Also, you want to feel better the next day after drinking? Here, you know, I got a solution for you. DHM Detox, baby. You know them. You love them. This is what you got to do, okay? I'll tell you right now. <laughs> you you, you tell them. <laughs> what is DHM Detox? You Let's might be saying it at home. Out. Well, loyal Stiff Socks listener, friends, family, and everybody else, DHM Detox is the vitamin for people who like to enjoy alcohol. They like alcohol. It's the smart, responsible way to enjoy your booze. It's time to start taking care of your body when you drink. Enjoy your drinks and forget Sunday scaries. Those are the worst. And feeling like gar Garbage. Garbage. Their company is built on the words no days wasted. No. DHM Detox uses science as a science podcast, science. so we only deal with science companies oh to help boost your body's natural response to alcohol and help break down those toxins. Ain't nobody want toxins but Britney Spears. Guys, call back. 2004. It's <laughs> they come in a convenient packet. That is easy to share with friends and family while you're celebrating or socializing. DHM Detox is a risk-free purchase. So if you are satisfied after taking the product, then they'll give you your money back. What's that? Hey, I'm not satisfied. I want my money back. Boom. You got it. It's a no-brainer. So at the very least, give it a shot. Give it a shot while you take a shot. Wow, pun. Double entendre? What is that? Get a refund so you, if you don't love it. We got you guys covered. 20% off your order and free shipping in the U.S. Just head over to nodayswasted.co. That's .co, no M, nodayswasted.co slash socks and use promo code socks at the checkout. That's nodayswasted.co slash socks. God damn. Let's, uh, let's do sock talk. We actually, wow. we, have a, we have a question that ties into, oh, uh, nice. ties into this. So this comes from Travis Mayo and he wants to know. Miracle Whip? Uh, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So he says, I'm trying to start a routine that doesn't involve masturbation. Do you guys have any advice for me? Yes, I do. But you go first, Trevor. <laughs> Ah, occupy yourself at all given times during the day. Yeah, I think have a daytime and a nighttime mm -hmm. activity. Like if you like if you if you work you nine to five, that's great. Then also go to like the gym after, so you're like you're so you're literally tired. I used to work so much back uh, when I first moved to LA. I would only just work and do stand up and do videos. And by the time I went to bed, I was literally tired and I didn't even the thought didn't even cross my mind of jerking off. I was legit fatigued. Yeah. So that helped, and I just fall asleep. Because a lot of people, I think, honestly, the bad habits fall into is jerking off is your little nightcap. You're like, I'm a beat, yep. then go to sleep. That's yeah, that's a night. My 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 overall suggestion would be just cut your dick off. Yeah, that's the only way you can stop jerking off. You just cut it clean off. What's funny is like I had the legit answer, then you were like, ah, just get it off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you gave because well, I was going to give a similar well, I would, answer. I would have to see what this guy does on a day to day, not physically see, because I don't need to see him jerking off. Oh, I mean, Only I would, fans. Yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah. Send him my way. Uh, but it's you'd have to be like, all right, well, instead of this two hour gap, instead of this, maybe do that <clears throat> type shit. You know? Yeah. Or you cut it off and put it in the MoMA, and you call it have a fucking yeah. You just live live your life. Um, realistically though, you know what honestly helps me is I I sort of said it before, but uh, keeping yourself occupied, but also like trying to find activities that better yourself so then sort of like to jerk off will take away from that so then you'll feel worse about yourself does that make sense so you like like meditation yoga you like uh read a self-help oh, book yeah, like yeah, yeah. that type of stuff so you feel as though you're that same feeling i mean nothing yeah. will right not, nothing will be the same as a nut but but it, it turns occupy in, your brain it turns into like a not even like a need it turns into like a hobby it's not even like, oh, I'm so horny, I need to jerk off. It, it turns into well, like, oh, it's 4 p.m. The hard oh, part is once, once the thought pops in your head, it's not leaving. Once the thought pops in your head. You're almost like, I, would, I need to jerk off to get rid of this thought. 
Right. But it, but I think the common misconception is that thought won't go away without me jerking off. That thought will go away quickly if you just go outside. Like literally, if you just walk outside, yeah. go for a walk and it'll go away. The problem is you have that thought and you go, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to submit to the urge. Oh, I see what you're saying. And feeling as though you can't. Dude, my buddy didn't jerk off. Uh, I think he did. I'm not even shitting you. I don't think he jerked off like four or five months. He was still having sex with his girl, but his he was jerking oh. off so much that it was... He, he was jerking off so much that it was affecting his relationship with his girl because like he would like jerk off a bunch during the day and his girl would come back from work and then want to have sex. He just never wanted to have sex. So they it, like it fucked up their sexual relationship. Right, so right. what he would used to what he would do in those in those times is like every single time that he felt like he needed to jerk off, he would literally just go outside and do like 100 push ups and come back in. And then once you do that, you're good. <laughs> Such a funny visual from the neighbor. Like, yep. God, he's so inspiring over there. We gotta follow in his lead. Meanwhile, his head, he's like, don't drink up, don't drink up, don't drink. Yeah. Boobs are stupid, boobs are stupid, boobs are stupid. <laughs> his dick, hard dick is just smashing into the concrete. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh. Um, yeah, so those, those are, uh, yeah. It's solid. All right, we got another question. This is from Aesthetic Pepsi Can, uh, who wants Yo, to know what's the get... weirdest thing you would willingly use as lube? Olive oil, avocado oil. I was thinking about this yesterday. Okay. I have some, I don't know how I got it. I did some shit, some show, and they gave me this like CBD like lotion. They were supposed to put on like a sore wrist. What if I put that on a sore dick? I feel like maybe your girl needs to put on her sore bed. Cause she'd be jerking off a lot. What if you walked in, she got an ice pack on there. Then you say, who the fuck? Well, also, who I was the fuck like, had sex with you? I was, well, what was funny is she's like, it was so good, the vibrator, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what if I got left for a vibrator? She left me. For She was like, it was better than you could have ever done. It's happened daily. You think? Dude, there was this girl I had sex with recently that I, I don't know if I said this, whatever. If I'm repeating it, I'm repeating it. But I had sex with this girl recently and she brought, I told, she's like, she can't come during sex, whatever. She brought her vibrator over and like, I was just, I like wasn't, I was just not existent. Like, I just felt like I wasn't, I, I, I felt like I should just sit in the corner and do my taxes <laughs> like I, what, what am i even know here you need for? a charger honey water <laughs> double What's a batteries water? yeah um that's crazy yeah. but yeah there's definitely there's definitely so many girl women that like they're like a dude doesn't do what a vibrator does and and yes we don't that shit vibrates yeah. it vibrates sometimes they, they have something that makes grilled cheese like we can't do that yeah if my dick's ever vibrate i'm having a stroke so yep i got ms the, enjoy the five seconds but also nine one one. yeah please She's like, oh, fuck, you feel so good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he starts doing CPR. My dick comes up. Um, What's weird, the question? Weirdest thing I would use as oh, yeah. lube. Uh, coconut oil. Probably, I've never tried it, but I've heard it's really, really good. You of all people, I feel like that would be the first one. That, uh, that I would oil. let go? Yeah. 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 Um, I'm trying to think of like a weird one that I would like, yo, I would definitely, definitely use. Uh, maybe frosting. I'm trying to think of like a food that you could use that would like be like frosting? slippery. I don't think frosting would be slippery enough. No? No. Nah. Can we think of something that's like... like frosting would be... Ugh. What about toothpaste? No, it's the same consistency. Guys, toothpaste? No. <laughs> no, it's got to be like an oil. It's because toothpaste and, and all that would oh, stick. You know what, you know what the, the move is? When I don't know, but you're you, getting hard things. When this. you open a jar of peanut butter that, that hasn't been opened in a while and it's got that top? sort of oil on top. Peanut I think that's oil. just and peanut it's got oil. some texture with the... Because there's still like the, you know, the chunky little peanut bits. Are you hard over there? I'm so hard. Over there. Okay. <laughs> Pickle juice. Pickle juice. No, it's just juice. It's just water. That also feels feels like it might burn. What Shit. about what about Yo play yogurt? I'd fuck a gogurt. I'll tell you right off the top. <laughs> First of all, gogurt is probably the best thing to fuck because all you need to do is cut it on the top and just stick your dick in it. <laughs> well, if you cut both sides, it looks like you're coming because it's just gogurt coming out. Dude, that I'm 27 years old. Guys. <laughs> Fucking yeah, ah, uh, I can't really think of anything like weird, but coconut oil. I would definitely like that. I would be the first thing I, I would use. Um, but yeah, have you ever jerked off like using like olive oil or anything? I was at my sister's place one time. There's nothing, no jerk, and I used uh, vegetable oil. Why'd you have to bring your sister into this? Because I was at her house. Could have been like I tried it one time. Yeah, but it's funny if I was at her house. Niece and nephew upstairs, and she's just like jerking off were you the bathroom in with... the kitchen. You're like, I was cooking something. I was cooking sausage. I was sauteing something new. God damn. Who got a body? <laughs> um, um, let's yeah. do some anonymous shit that's yeah. freakier than that and then get the fuck out of here. All right. This is, a, this is an anonymous submission. 
Oh, hold on. I'm so sorry. Let me interrupt real quick. Guys, yeah. we also want to say really quick uh, that this is obviously the new studio. We already introduced you to this. But um, we want to see uh, what you guys think about this shit aesthetically. So if y'all want some, do we want to put some shelves in this open space? Do we add more? For the audio listeners, it's a cinder block wall with some plants behind us and the sign, the OG sign, of course, with lights around it. We don't have the shelves directly behind us, but when we have a guest, you'll see where the, the shelves are. It's like a little three wall setup, two wall setup, I can't think. So we're pretty much wondering, do we keep it clean with the cinder blocks? Or do we put up some cinder cocks? That makes zero sense. That would be so funny. We could put just big dildos, just mount them on the wall. Flashlights. Guys. Wow. How do I'm you have a doorbell out front of the office that's, if the bell is in front, oh, wait, hold on. Okay. You gotta push through a <laughs> flashlight to ring the doorbell. <laughs> Love so, that. So Michael's is out front like ding 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 <laughs> fuck this guy's always late <laughs> um, we're coming no literally UPS guy's like hold up dude what a fucking disgust okay <laughs> um, yeah so let That's us know tough. guys should we fill it in should we ride on the wall should we add some cool like like what fit because we're trying to think about what is center block what does block like represent is it edgy or do we keep it like the chairs and the plants are like sophisticated but the backdrop's edgy it's a cum podcast essentially so just let us know what you think man uh yeah write in dm us that's it gabriel take yeah. us away with a little bit of all right this is an anonymous listener who says uh when i was younger i jerked off on a roundabout while waiting for a friend to come hang out outside all right so oh, roundabout is, oh, you know, the, the, that kind of, the cars. And I think a lot of times it's just like a little sort of lawn of grass, maybe Yo. some shrubs. He probably looked fucking insane. Just like, ah! <laughs> was he in his car? No. Oh, Wait, he was just no, in the center of the roundabout. Yeah, he wasn't driving it yet. I think <laughs> oh, he was, I thought he was driving. Mm-mm. So he just like went into the center of the roundabout into the movie. I guess some shrubs, Damn. I would hope. You ever jerk off on a yield sign? Because he has. <laughs> Yeah, what? That's the worst place to drink off. You're like, are they looking? Yes. Everyone's everybody. looking. I mean, it, yeah, I, I don't know how much shrubs can be in there. I mean, he's just, he's just like in in a tree jerking off. It's just bushes, right? It might not even be bushes. A lot of them are just, it's just grass. Like it looks like a lawn kind of. This Everyone's like, oh, what a sweet guy. He's just sunbathing. Nope. Nope. Yeah, Yo, you you stand it up, you're laying down. What do you do? You got to lay down. You can't stand up. What a fuck? You got to go blend prison. in behind the Expedia fucking gnome. You know what's so goddamn funny? Is camo. It, you know what's so funny? If you lie down on the ground with your hard dick sticking straight up, it's a sundial. God damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what time is it? From kids like that, <laughs> that, what is it? He's like, oh, it's 419. That's what that is. Oh, um, well, That's crazy, dude. You are you are a wild, wild man, whoever you are. I, I, I respect the honesty. I can't, cool even, place. I can't even think of anything. Well, it's a bold place because, first of all, you got to jaywalk to get there. You got to go across the street. He's already a bad, bad boy. Oh, the worst. You ever have but a girl look at you and say you're a bad boy? No. God damn, that gets me hard. <laughs> a a girl. Golden Retriever puppy? I think He's no. a little bad boy. Don't shit on the floor. But not that. Girl looks at you and goes, you're a bad boy. God damn. God damn. I've been big on the daddy. <laughs> Hit me with the daddy. Woo! <laughs> Call me Piccolo Pete because my dick is finna skeet. <laughs> I, I didn't think that'd work out. It did. It worked out fucking perfect. Yeah, you're big on the daddy. Of course you are. What the great. fuck? God, it's great. I am when it comes on, you're like. <sighs> yep. Oh, you got you to start thinking about baseball quick. Oh. Yeah, because I get you fucking. You about to fucking. The, the goddamn volcano is about to erupt. I'm gonna, come me, daddy. I'm getting rocked up already. <laughs> I can't be just rocked up. The sun's still out. I got to jerk off 19 times today. Goddamn, what, time? what time is it? Six o'clock? Well, I think this was a very successful first episode in the new studio. This yeah. is studio number four now. If you've been with us from the jump, that's one. Holy two, shit. Two, three. This is four, right? This is four. This is going to be, this is a, a brand new studio for us. Uh, we're super, super excited. And we couldn't have done this without you, man. We couldn't have done this without really, you guys. Yeah. So, so we really appreciate it. Shout out everybody you. who has bought merch, everybody who has ran up the views on YouTube. And uh, the people who really helped this is the Patreon people. Patreon, goddamn, we love you. And uh, we plan on shooting and doing a bunch of cool stuff in the space. So thank you for helping invest in a better podcast studio. Because the last one, no lie, was, uh, yeah, it was, it was in. What was it, man? Uh, it was probably, it was in my apartment. It was in your apartment. It was in my apartment. Yeah. So, so people would be like, is that the Stamps Act in the back of Trevor's sketch? Yes. <laughs> Motherfucker, yes. <laughs> it was in my apartment. 
And we like my upstairs neighbor would be like, Bleh, scoot a chair and be like, wow, the studio above us is so fucking loud. No, my neighbor's loud. The guy I see every day and I wave to him. Top of the morning. That Why asshole. would she vacuum <laughs> hardwood <laughs> floors? This is the fucking tea, baby. They would just vacuum hardwood floors. 2 p.m. Are they coming on the floors? Maybe. We don't know. But the neighbor would would, <clears throat> would just blast music at 2 p.m. Oh, you having a garage sale? You working out? No, they're fucking just sitting there. It was so goddamn loud. The worst. It was just, it was just, it was time for a change. And uh, I didn't know what to do and me and Mike were just like dude let's just fucking rent a space COVID it's probably super cheap we were wrong it's not <laughs> we like honestly in my head I was like dude when we first started looking at offices I know we're going over but whatever this is the this is the real me you know we started <laughs> we, that's all real all right but we started looking at offices dude I every time I go into anything moving related I'm like I don't want to move anymore. It's so annoying. We oh checked every office has like some weird shit. And we go to this one place and this lady probably said COVID 45 times a minute. She goes, well, due to COVID and COVID and we can't do this because COVID and COVID. Well, we, you guys, there's an elevator, but when you guys just take stairs, we're going to elevator one and one COVID. I'm like, lady, are you a robot? COVID. She, li- I'm, guys, when he says, she said, she, she, uh, 125 times you're just in a night outfit like just trying to avoid covid i mean we get it Dude. covid and then we 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 asked this one guy we see this one listing online we really like and uh i don't know why but i feel like michael and i come from a boat we're pretty business savvy we know what we're doing and we know price we know our uh, dollar's worth really well i'd say and we see this place listed for like pretty high and it says like flexible right yeah and we, we just call the guy. No broker. We just call the guy. Straight cell phone. And we're like, what's the price? And it gives it to us. And Mike's like, yeah, but what's the wiggle room? Yep. And the guy's like, well, what do you fucking mean? Like, the, what do you, what do you, like, you got, there's so many, the he guy lost like, his mind. he lost his mind. But in our heads, we're like, he'll, he'll take it down 400 bucks a month right now. Nope. He lost his mind. He goes, well, what, what do you, what do you mean wiggle room? Why are we already fighting? We've been on the phone for 15 seconds. <laughs> but it's just so funny in my head. It's Corona. So I'm like, yeah, these motherfuckers are broke. They need the money. Probably, maybe not. Who no, knows? they don't. No, they don't. They Apparently have they don't. other properties. <laughs> no, but I remember, I just thought this guy was knocking down from like three grand to like 15. We didn't end up getting this place because this guy was fucking a hot shot McGee, but I just remember we were like, yeah, what's the wiggle room? No. <laughs> like, that's the secret code. He's waiting. He doesn't enlist on, on the property like, don't ask about wiggle room. It's a secret menu, like the fucking animal style fries the internet. What's the wiggle room? I'm hungry. What's the wiggle Starving. room? Starving. But we call the guys like, what do you fucking want? <laughs> we just like both scratch our head. We're like, yeah, you know, wiggle room, huh? Yeah. I, I, I saw, didn't Gordon Gecko say that? <laughs> So funny, but uh, yeah, man, we, we had it in my apartment for about a year yeah. and it was great, but you know, we, we can never really send art to the studio. So we'll, we'll uh, at some point get a PO box where you guys can send us art. And uh, it was cool because we could kind of be on our own hours and we could just have fun with it. But it was a little uh, weird when we had guests like Young Gravy and like Kendra. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, where's the office? And I was like, it's it's in my uh, kitchen. Uh, yeah, this will feel better when we have like yeah. like high and also, profile guests. And if stuff. you didn't know what a podcast was, it looked like a shrine to whatever the fuck TikTok <laughs> was. So every time like people that would like like come in that were like whatever or like I remember my landlord was giving tours of my place for whatever. Oh, that's some fucking so reason. funny, dude. Dude, if you saw this setup, you'd be like, who fucking got murdered and then put up cum memorabilia? <laughs> I don't know, but it was, it was a great, and I, I think that studio was, we, it just kind of, it felt right. Like it, it, like, I think the podcast really grew in that year. It really found its legs and what it was and like the, yeah. the personalities and, and that's, I mean, that's where the origina- uh, orig- origination of like, God damn and Sheridan and like all these great quotes and moments came from that. Uh, studio. Space, and I think yeah. every studio had its moments, you know, like you talking about coming on floors, I think was in the second. It was in studio. the second studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to kind of like grow and it's, I, and it, what's tight is depending on where you started listening, you'll like grow, even if this is your first episode and you're still listening, love you, you'll grow until what's the next studio and blah, 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 blah. It's just need to grow with you guys. So sorry to get emotional. It's a calm podcast, whatever. But yeah, it's it's really cool. Let us know what you guys want on the motherfucking backdrop because yeah. this is a podcast for you guys essentially. 
And again, we just want to, yeah, we just want to thank you guys. Uh, so much support over the year and, and a few months we've been doing this and we really, really appreciate it. So that's pretty much it. That's the first episode in the new studio. Um, let us know, you know, what you guys want behind us or if you want anything behind us, cool. But again, as I always say, go on iTunes, rate, subscribe, and review. It really helps us out. And we love you guys. And join Patreon if you haven't. It's only $5 a month for four extra episodes. Bye.